What's up guys? Welcome back to the Smiths. Today you guys know that I love crafting and I do signs and t-shirts and I've probably made signs and t-shirts for many many of you. I have recently switched to the Cricut Explore 3. I used to use a different machine. I am falling in love with this machine. It walks you through every single step that you need. It's super easy. It can cut over a hundred different materials but I use it mainly for iron-on vinyl, removable vinyl for my signs, and then permanent vinyl as well. So I'll show you a t-shirt today and then hopefully I'll show you a sign next time. So this is my new Cricut. I mean, it's awesome. It's the Cricut Explore 3. It cuts hundreds of materials. I also have the Cricut heat press. I have another heat press in the barn for larger projects. This one is amazing. Just pop it on. It warms up super quickly. It basically just walks you through everything you need to do. This is my mat. I'll lay my project down, press it here, and then you have your awesome project. So let's go. So I'm in the Cricut design software. I'm gonna go over here to templates because I wanna do a shirt. So you just type in whatever you wanna make. Just gonna do a classic t-shirt, click on that, and then up here you can change the sizing. I'm gonna do a kid's short sleeve because I'm gonna make something for London. Come over here to the text box. And you just type in whatever you want it to say, so I'll get started with that, change the font, and then I'll show you guys how to print it out. Okay, so we'll print that out. I'm gonna make the sizing better and then I'll, I'll show you how to load it in. I am just gonna use the iron-on glitter vinyl. We are going to click make it. Another feature that I love, you guys, is it tells me how much vinyl I need. I used to waste so much vinyl with my other machine because sometimes I would think that I had enough and I didn't. So this tells you exactly how much vinyl you need in length. So we're just gonna do a basic cut without the mat. I'm gonna mirror it so I can lay it down and then we're just gonna send it. So now I'm just gonna select which one I'm using. So this is the iron on, but I'm gonna select glitter because that's it's gonna use a different blade. Literally walks you through every step, guys. Make sure the mirror is turned on. All right, so I'm loading my material shiny side down. You're just gonna slide it right into the little grooves. Let me hit this button automatically loads it for you. Whenever you're ready, just gonna hit that and then it takes off. So I'm gonna cut this out. It's my weaving tool to take out the little excess pieces. And there you have it, there's our yee yee. So I will turn on our heat press and we will press the shirt. So I've turned on my heat press, it's getting warmed up. Here's my mat where I'm gonna lay my shirt down. And you're gonna wanna press out any wrinkles first. You're gonna press it for about five seconds, get the wrinkles out, and then we can lay down our vinyl. And you're just gonna press it. You're just gonna apply gentle pressure Hit the cricket button and then you have your shirt. You're gonna wanna flip your shirt, flip it over, press it for another five seconds, for another maybe five to 10 seconds, and then you can peel off your vinyl off the front. So you're gonna flip, I'm gonna flip it, press it, peel. So you're ready to peel it off. And we have our cute yee yee shirt. It's so easy, you guys. Okay, here's our finished t-shirt, our finished yee yee shirt, super easy. I'll show you guys a sign next time or comment down below anything that you would want me to show you. I'm gonna put a link in the description below so you guys can head over and check out the Cricut Explore 3. Now let's get back to the Smiths. What's up everybody? I'm headed to go get London from school. Uh, she is hopefully getting her braces off today. They told her that she was gonna get them off the day before her birthday. So I'm hoping that I don't go get her and then we get there and then they say, She's got to wait another month or so. So I'm excited for her. She's super, super excited to have them off for her 10th birthday tomorrow. I cannot believe I have a 10 year old. We're going to go and document that and then I'm going to take her back to school. So on our way. Today is the day that your braces come off. Are you excited? All right, right here. <laughs> she have to get. Hmm? She's talking about a retainer that you have to get to wear at night. How's your mouth? See how your teeth are on the inside of your bottom ones, London? That's amazing. <laughs> Would you say that's gross? Yeah. That's so weird. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna clean them up. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's... Oh my god. <laughs> there it is. We're gonna 
focus on it. It was all in her mouth. What is that? Oh, the candy I can eat with braces. Snickers. Can we eat all those? Twigs. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that! Alright, so what do you want to say? Thank you for my smile, Dork Georgetown Pediatrics. <laughs> I think if I was not a country singer and not a football coach and not a preacher, I would be a nature videographer. That'd be pretty cool. Like one of those guys that travels with Planet Earth or one of those big TV shows and you have to camp out for seven years in some remote location. I think I could do that. I would like to do that. I don't have the skill, but I feel like if I practiced for two decades, as, as much as I practiced playing guitar, or writing songs, then maybe I'd be good. I'm sitting out here at the cross, which I love, it's one of my favorite spots in the woods. Come out here, it's like my quiet time, I can come out here and, and I noticed today that we have all of this frost weed, it's called frost weed, that's in bloom, it's huge. It gets up to like six or seven feet tall. And it's all in bloom and because of that, we just have hundreds and hundreds of butterflies. A lot of them are the big, beautiful orange and black mo uh, monarch butterflies, which is awesome. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go get the camera, a couple lenses, see if I can catch some of these monarchs for the Smiths. And I'll show you what I'm talking about, this frost weed. These woods are still a work in progress since the ice storm and we lost all these trees and I need to get a grapple for my tractor so that I can come in and start dealing with it. But in the meantime, Maybe it's because of that ice storm. We have this massive, this is the frost weed right here. So we have tons of honeybees and tons of this frost. Look how tall that is. It's taller than me. It's, I mean, this one's like nine feet tall. The bees and the butterflies and the hummingbirds are going crazy in here today. I could try to get it on the camera. Probably won't be able to get a lot of it over here by this you remember that old pond that we had? Usually dried up, just a puddle by now. But I walked through here and there is, I gotta get the kids actually, I gotta show the kids after this. It's just really cool. Here's their dried up pond. But here's tons of that weed. It's interesting cause it's like, it's almost like hunting. It's like deer hunting to get close to these butterflies, close enough for a, a shot on the camera but if you stand right in the middle of it and you're real still like you're hunting then they just come to you but if you're just prouncing through the woods like i am now they start flying but it's really cool there's one there's one right there and just everywhere see how like i'm all i'm all way up in it <laughs> but it is blooming We've had a pretty dry September and October, but this stuff is super drought tolerant, super, super heat tolerant. We're in Texas and it's still, let's see, it's still 84 degrees, 2.30 in the afternoon, 84 degrees. So it's still pretty warm, still pretty dry, but I just wanted to show y'all. I was like, man, this is cool. Then you get these double ones like this are flying together in, in pairs. And part of what I want this channel to be, I want part of this channel to be a place that you guys could relax a little bit from whatever you're going through in your day. This channel could be in part a relaxation for you, a little grounding channel for you, because that's what it is for me to come out here. The craziness of the road and buses going down highways and early morning airplanes. And I like to come out here 
with nothing in the sunshine. It's 10.25 and I am decorating London's door for her birthday tomorrow. So I'm trying to be really, really quiet, but I have lots of balloons and streamers and she's gonna be 10 in the morning. Happy birthday! Thank you! Let me see that pretty smile. <laughs> this is off. First birthday present. A pop it. Yes? What are you doing? What are you doing making noise over here? Good morning. Uh, uh. You kept me up all night. Every hour. You were just excited for Sissy's birthday. Okay, now you gotta go to school on your birthday. Travel Barbie. And look at all the mess. She has a phone. That. Um, toothbrush and toothpaste, Cute. headphones, backpack, stickers, camera, hat, sleeping mask. What are you doing after school? Are you going to Target? Oh yeah, we're going to Target. <laughs> we'll do your little birthday gathering on Saturday. Yeah. Love you. Time Love to go to you. school. It is London's birthday. Can you believe that we have a 10 year old? Blows me away. I know. Sometimes I still feel like I'm 25. I do too. And we have a 10 year old. Oh. And a baby. And a baby that's about to start crying. So, what she wanted was when we get out so he, you could get him moving. Sure. She wanted Cracker Barrel. That's, that's what she wanted. For her birthday. That's what she wanted for birthday dinner. Do a little bicep workout. Mm -hmm. And she's already here. I guess Tyler's here too. There's his truck. She's already here with Jazz and... I didn't bring diapers in. Diaper and wipes. On it. Happy birthday! How are you? Good. Let's see the braces. The no braces. <laughs> Incredible. Do you feel 10? Yeah. You do? Yeah. Why do you want to come to Cracker Barrel? I don't know. Because I like the chicken. You like the chicken? Alright, what are you guys doing? I was just playing a little checkers. You got a few double ruskies on me. Uh, do you just win this game or what? Hey, yeah, I just won. Okay. What if the world had more of your smile? What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could Work? reach everyone? <laughs> there be no war. Go get some frames mm -hmm. for my room. Oh, I have a lot of fun. Maybe the birds oh, will sing about your heart. Whoa! Trampoline talk. Think you'll get married one day? Well, I don't know. You could be like 40 years old and living with dad. I don't know. What are you? I don't know. Why did you let a two-year-old have spray paint? We didn't know! I did it. Can you make it through that gate without hitting it? Passing 100,000 subscribers. Isn't it cool? Oh my goodness! Maybe there is a star. <laughs> <laughs> there is no I
It's just dirt. Daddy! It's I dirt that you. came out of a worm's butthole. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. <laughs> What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. like subscribe hit that notification bell so you never miss any of our videos bye